Chairperson, we, uh, I identify the irregularities uh, um, uh, in respect of uh, the acquisition of 100 locomotives. Um, and I did say that uh, already what was initially intended to be a confinement to Mitsui now shifted to become a confinement of the 100 locomotives to China South Rail. Uh, and this was not in compliance with the, the requirement of agency, standardization, and highly specialized goods as prescribed uh, by the policy and, uh, and of course, uh, the Treasury regulation. So it's one of those things. So we, it, it's irregular. That's Funduzi has found that. Uh, so did MNS uh, uh, investigators. Was there and, any and, and escalation of cost that raised concern? The, the, I'm coming to that. Uh, the, the, the investigations, the reports show that the China South Rail proposal did not meet the objectives of confinement as set out in the memorandum of 21st January 2014, which had been approved by the Transnet Board of Directors. And then, of course, that on the, in response to the question by uh, Advocate Pretorius SC, it is indeed true that uh, the acquisition cost escalated uh, from 3.8 billion to 4.4 billion. Mm -hmm. And this memorandum was submitted by Mr. Brian Malefe, Mr. Singh, and Mr. Gaba, uh, justifying uh, the increases. So I'm advised uh, from the investigations that uh, Transnet overpaid at least 3.47 million per locomotive and at most paid 6.2 million per locomotive. Overpaid? Uh, sorry, overpaid, yes. Overpaid by that amount, sorry. Uh, uh, and the conclusion was that uh, uh, Mrs. Molefe, Brian Molefe, B.S. Gamma, Singh, and Gianni had failed in discharging their fiduciary duties uh, in the acquisition of uh, uh, hundred locomotives for China South Rail. Um, the fiduciary duties uh, being one that requires care and diligence. Um, so, uh, and these are the things that show that willfully people could just ignore uh, the rules.